ignition. Lift off. Lift off. Baby, perfect. What's up guys, this is the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. Today is the fourth and final episode of our sword combination, breaking it down into digestible chunks so that right now you'll be able to put it all together and have a cool combination that you can show off for whatever reason you want to. If you haven't seen the other episodes, um, what are you doing here? This is part four, clearly. Go check out the other three. <laughs> um, but if you've made it this far, welcome and make sure to hit me with the HBO special just like always because you need to help a brother out so I can hit my 75,000 subscriber goal by the end of the year. So, you know, drop a like, maybe leave a comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel. But let's get to the combination. So at the end of our last trip, we finished our chest illusion and finished with a strike. So what we're gonna do is just go into a simple toss. It's so simple that it's actually one of the three basic sword tosses that you should learn well before you try this. And if you haven't learned it, I'll leave a link somewhere in the corner for you to watch. But it is the horizontal toss. Now, just as a basic run through, you're going to swing outward and pop your wrist in to make it have a helicopter type spin to it. So it spins around just like so. Now for the catch, it's gonna be a little bit different than just letting it fall into your hand. You're actually gonna reach out with your left hand and grab it, palm facing away from you. So when you toss it, make sure it comes into your hand just like so. Hey, phrasing! With the blade facing towards the ground if you were to give yourself a thumbs up in reverse grip. Now, once you catch it, you're actually going to spin in a circle before striking across. Now, the spin is pretty standard. You guys have done several spins in this combination already. But as far as the strike goes, you're actually going to flip your hand upside down right at the end of the strike just like so and that way you can get your nice blade clean at the end now in order to put your combination together you're going to want to go slow at first and understand how each trick and segment flows into the next segment for example for the end of your second segment when you come down here and you toss it goes straight into the next two, just like so. And so learning how your blade moves and learning how to control the momentum is gonna be your biggest um, factor when learning how to combine these, these sections together. And like I said before, make sure you practice on grass or something soft because you will drop your sword. And so I suggest either practice with a training sword like this one that is aluminum and dull so you don't actually hurt yourself. Links down below and the promo code is also down there if you want it too for 10% off. Again, Ninja 10 at 10% off. But if you can't afford a sword right now, I get it. You can grab a stick or a PVC pipe or something short like that to practice with. Don't grab a live blade and practice this because that's super dangerous. Danger zone! So just know if any of y'all cut yourselves, I warn you. And for any of you guys interested, I do have merch now. It is down in the description below. So if you are interested in getting a Ninja Fam shirt or Apocalypse Squad shirt or a modern Ninja hoodie or whatever the case may be, definitely check it out. It's down there. It's really cool. It really helps out the channel. If you do check it out, if you don't, that's fine too. But it's, it's kind of up to you. You know how this works. But regardless, until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja and I'm out and then understanding.